welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. Welcome. I am so glad you guys are here. If you are new, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video I upload every single week. I'm really excited about today's video because it's a little bit different than anything I've done. It actually was a video requested by a subscriber, so I'm more than happy to do it. You guys wanted me to walk you through kind of how I plan my shoots, what goes into planning the looks that I shoot, and a little bit behind the scenes of actually shooting the outfits. And I also asked you guys if you had any questions, so I'm going to answer a few of those that I got on Instagram. But before we get into that, I just had one thing I needed to share with you guys. One of my videos got taken down by YouTube, unfortunately. You guys probably already saw if you do follow me on Instagram, I shared it on there. It was the editing my followers Instagram photos video, which I am so bummed about. Um, but I'm working really hard to try to get it back up because I think it was a big mistake that it got taken down. I didn't have any copyrighted um, music or anything in the video. So I'm hoping it was a mistake and we get it resolved and I can get the video back up. So fingers crossed. Um, I will keep you guys posted on Instagram story most likely. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know in case some of you were featured in that video and you don't see it on my page anymore. I didn't delete it. It got deleted. It was out of my hands. So now also let me know what you guys think of this background. Maybe we could switch it up every now and then and film right here. Maybe every few videos. Um, maybe all my styling videos could be right here. I think this background is actually really cute. I normally film like over here in a different area in my room. Um, and I think that's really cool too but I think it'd be fun to mix it up. So let me know what you guys think of this. I think it looks really cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. If you guys wanna see a little behind the scenes of my shoot days and what goes into planning my shoots, please keep watching. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, maybe you don't follow me on Instagram, um, the pictures that I'm talking about, the shoots that I'm talking about are mainly photos for Instagram and photos for my blog. So Instagram is a huge part of my job as a YouTuber because it's an extension of my brand and my page and it's a way that I interact with my followers throughout the week when I'm I'm not posting videos and also before even that I love posting outfits it's my favorite thing ever I love posting cool Instagram photos and I am very lucky where I have my best friend shoot for me every single week I actually hired her as an assistant so it was super exciting um, she used to work twice a week for me but she recently went back to school so now we just shoot once a week um, but that's actually a huge huge help because like I said um, pictures and Instagram and sharing outfits with you guys is a huge part of my business you guys don't have anyone to take pictures for you that's totally fine too I've been there many many times when I have had people helping me and then they can't anymore or when you just start out you don't really have anyone to help you so my advice for you guys with that would be to just make the most of the times that you are out doing things and you're with somebody else you don't have to have them do a whole photo shoot and take like a thousand pictures of you if you're just out at lunch with your boyfriend with your friend with your sister whoever you're with just have them snap a quick picture of you that you can share just take advantage of those moments that you're with someone and you have a cute outfit on and you want to share it um, you don't have to like set up a whole entire Intense photo shoot and hire a photographer. I know when you first start you really cannot afford that or you can get really familiar with a tripod Take pictures at home. Not all of my pictures are taken by somebody else I take a lot of my pictures at home on my own with even my phone sometimes um, I do a lot of flat lays and product shots and I even take pictures in the mirror I know a lot of bloggers make a lot of their business by just taking mirror pictures and that's kind of like their whole style They just snap outfits at their house really quick and it's a good way to get a lot of looks out really quickly without having to spend money on a photographer or go out and shoot pictures. So the person that requested this video is actually asking like, when do I plan my shoots? How do I plan when I'm gonna shoot? All that stuff. So like I said, we typically shoot once a week. We do Tuesdays or Wednesdays because um, those are days we're both available to shoot. Today's a Tuesday, so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone, filming a video and shooting content for Instagram. So like I said, I'm gonna go over some of the questions that I got on Instagram later, but one thing that I saw a lot of in my messages that I just wanna talk about now is how do I decide what to shoot and why? So for me, this is becoming more and more my full-time job. So I work with brands, I shoot outfits for brands and all that good stuff, but sometimes I'm not doing that. Um, so for example, like a few weeks ago, I was shooting a look for Lulu's. So that was the outfit that I was going to be shooting that week for our photo shoot. But when I don't have like anything in particular to shoot, like I can just shoot um, whatever outfit I want to put on. I just kind of choose the outfit and put it together um, the night before or the week of. I kind of have things in mind most of the time. I do take a few things into consideration when it comes to shooting outfits every week. I like to think of what season are we in. Right now we're finishing up winter. We're heading into spring. So right now my content is going to become a little bit more spring driven. I'm going to shoot more spring looks and share more of the spring trends 
vitamins, all that good stuff because I'm not gonna go out and like shoot a full winter look. People are starting to shop for spring. They're wanting to get inspiration. If you're like me, I'm wanting to see spring inspiration and spring style. But I also like to take into account what is trending right now and also things that I'm talking about. So lately I've been talking a lot about hair accessories, Doc Martens, dad shoes, the Fila sneakers, those things. So the things that I'm talking about on my stories, on my videos, I wanna make sure that someone could come from my YouTube channel to my Instagram to see how I'm styling those pieces. So that is something that I'll take into consideration. Obviously I wanna be styling the latest trends because that's kind of my job. I just had a spring trends video go up, I think it was two weeks ago. Um, I talked about hair accessories, like I said, and Doc Martens and sneakers. So last week I styled my Doc Martens, I just got them and I shared them with you guys. Um, so I wanted to style them on my Instagram so you can see an outfit and I'm still gonna continue to style them. I might even wear them again today because I really love them and they're really on trend. Um, but that is just kind of an example of what I'm talking about. And also if I've just recently picked up some new pieces I just bought some new pieces of clothing I will shoot with those because I want to keep everything fresh and new and shoot outfits that I'm getting because I'm always buying clothes so I have to make use of them and use them for work and just to share outfits with you guys I hate when I call it work because it sounds like it's a chore it's really not it's so much fun and it's such an amazing part of my job to be able to just take pictures and style outfits and do fun things like this and shoot days are always so much fun because I get to work with my best friend but another huge part of planning out my outfits I look at my Instagram feed so obviously I'm going to be posting these outfits on my Instagram feed and I like to keep a cohesive feed If you guys have been following me for a while or have seen my videos before you know that um, So I just kind of go and look at my Instagram and see kind of what the vibe is So right now it's very neutral. I can probably shoot in whatever I want maybe like Something with black because that's kind of my style right now. We are heading into spring, but I'm still keeping things authentic to like the vibe that I'm in. So I've been really into like the 90s, like grunge or like street style kind of vibe. Um, so I'm probably going to stick with that somewhat today. I'll wear some type of black most likely because that's just my style and my feed has a lot of black on it right now. That is just something that I take into consideration. I always get questions about planning on my Instagram feed and all that stuff and how I stay cohesive. Um, well, you have to keep that in mind at all times. If you're out shooting, you have to shoot a look that's going to go with your feed even the location you're shooting at you have to take all that into consideration if that's going to go with your instagram feed or not so that's a big big part about it it's the last thing i mentioned for that but it's not the least important it's really important for that so those were a few of the topics that you guys were really curious about but i did get some questions on instagram that i wanted to answer real quick i'm just going to kind of pick a few that i'm seeing a lot of to answer to share with you guys that are relevant to the topic um so let's just jump right into it First one said, how do you get over being so camera shy? Right when the camera hits me, I'm so awkward. So that is from Renee Brianna. So it's really just, you know, practice. Practice makes perfect. You have to get comfortable in front of the camera by being in front of the camera. You're not gonna know what you're doing right when you get in front of it because it's always really awkward at first. You just have to continue to take pictures, pose in the mirror, figure out what works for you. You could literally just sit in front of the mirror one day and see what faces look good, what poses look good. That way, you know, you're confident in posing in front of someone else taking pictures of you. So it really is just practice. You have to continuously work at it. Um, I know it's hard for some people because it's really awkward, especially if you're out in public, you just have to practice at it. So Denmitch7 said, with LA traffic, do you dedicate a full day to shoot in different locations and bring outfits? Um, so that's actually a good question. I typically, you know, it doesn't take a whole day and I don't usually go all the way out to LA to shoot. I like to stay local if it's just like during the week. Um, sometimes like we go out a little bit farther, but not a lot. I'm in Orange County. Um, I don't live in LA, but there are times that we go out to LA. Last week, we actually went out to Pasadena, which was a little bit of the ways out there. We kind of did go out there to shoot, but that I reserved the whole day for because that's a full day. You're heading all the way out there. Um, and it's a little bit farther for us because we live in Orange County. But for today, we're staying local, we're probably going like 10, 15 minutes away. And um, I didn't reserve the whole day for this. Like I said, I am killing two birds with one stone today. I'm shooting a video and shooting photos after this. So I have the first half of the day blocked out for my filming. And then I have shooting for a few hours. And then we will go to a coffee shop and edit the pictures and work on whatever else for the rest of the day. So that's kind of how this day is looking so far and I didn't block out the whole day for it and typically when we just shoot in the morning and I'm not filming we'll only shoot for like a few hours and then work for the rest of the day doing whatever else so it doesn't take the whole entire day to shoot and you also asked if I bring outfits so that is something that I meant to cover in the first part of the video so a lot of bloggers batch shoot their looks so they will bring a bunch of outfits and shoot like five different looks in one day and I think that makes sense if you're paying like a photographer you don't normally work with and it's expensive and you have to make the most of it but 
for my style of content, I have found that I like to shoot more like in the moment, real time outfits and just one outfit a week um, when I'm shooting out with my friend because I don't like to switch up my outfits and wear different things and feel rushed. Like I have to shoot a bunch of different things and it just has to keep going. I wanna be able to have freedom to just shoot that one look and post a few photos of it throughout the week. And then the rest of my photos that I post on Instagram will be taken at home or I'll be out with my boyfriend. I'll have him snap a picture of me, those kind of things. So you really just have to find what works for you. I found my audience responds best to real time photos. You have to just kind of feel around see what your audience likes best, what works best for you. So I'm trying to answer the questions that are relevant to shooting. I got some like blogging questions cause I know you guys like to like ask questions while you can. And I do have a blog post, a Q&A blog post about blogging, and then I have a part two about YouTube. So if you guys are curious, um, if I don't answer your questions in here, go to that blog post. I will link them below. Um, I answer a lot of those similar questions in here, like what advice I have for new bloggers and all that stuff and like what gear I use for my YouTube. So if you guys asked any questions like that, just check that out because I won't be answering them in today's video because I'm trying to keep it all about like how I shoot my pictures. So the Naomi Lynn asked, how do you decide what to shoot and what environment to shoot in? So I kind of answered that earlier, but I wanted to just go over it again real quickly um i kind of take into consideration am i working with a brand or what's trending like i said um and then for my environment that i shoot in i like to keep things really neutral i will show you guys a little clip of what i'm shooting later i'm actually really into like the street style kind of look right now like we've been shooting in like a lot of alleys and like random walls and like streets but i like to keep it like white with pops of black or like gray very neutral i don't i try to avoid like tans and like bright colors because i like to keep my background neutral so my outfit can stand out and also it'll go a lot better with my Instagram feed if the background goes with my Instagram feed if it's white black gray all that stuff so just apply that to whatever your brand is and what your Instagram feed is if yours is like very warm tones and tan shoot in front of a tan building those are really easy to find white buildings are much harder <laughs> there's tan buildings everywhere so x Sharon underscore 84 x <laughs> asked how far ahead do you plan outfits and is it a strict planning or loose idea it kind of depends on if I'm working with brands or anything but like today I'm literally planning my outfit for the shoot right before I go to shoot so it's pretty loose most of the time for the most part it's really laid back and I like to keep things authentic and actually something that I would wear that day okay the last question I'm gonna go over today is from hashtag sab she asked if I could share how to build confidence shooting in public you kind of just have to not care I know that's like so much easier said than done but what I like to think about, even there sometimes I get embarrassed every now and then, like when people are walking by staring and they act like they've never seen someone taking a picture before. I just think like, I'm never gonna see these people again, most likely. They have no idea who I am. They're never gonna think about this again. They're gonna leave and they're gonna forget they even saw me. They do not care. Just remember that you always make things way more important in your head about you than someone else does about you, if that makes sense. But I also think it's important to feel comfortable with the photographer you're shooting with. Ideally, I would shoot a few times with someone that you know, maybe you can ask a friend to help you or a boyfriend, a husband, whoever, so you can get comfortable in front of the camera. Something that I also do to feel more comfortable while I'm shooting is I play music from my phone and I just kind of have like my phone in my pocket with music playing. I feel so much better having music playing than it just being silent. I feel like uncomfortable in the silence, like it's just, you're posing and it's awkward and you're like, what is going on? Just that white noise in the background or music that can make you feel like a little bit like in a better mood and a little bit confident. I feel like that really, really helps. You will get over it. Don't let it hold you back from going out and taking pictures if that's something that you wanna do. So those are the only questions I'm gonna answer for today. I just wanted to answer a few for the video. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and get into planning my outfit. I'm gonna pick it out. We're gonna get to shooting. I'm gonna show you guys the location we shoot at and then just a few little clips of us shooting. Yeah, that is pretty much it for that. And I'll see you guys at the shoot location. Okay, so shoot location. Very unexpected, I would say. Someone actually just walked by and told us that we should go somewhere else because it's not very pretty. <laughs> but this is the vibe that I'm going for these days. It's white, which is good. The only thing we're struggling with is that um, it's a little shadowy. You can see the tree is making some shadows, but we're trying to make it work. I'm finding that it looks better on my phone. The camera is kind of struggling to take pictures with it, but we're gonna try. Um, but I just wanna show you guys. I think this is cool. There's cars driving by and people making noise. Sorry. Yeah. Such a joy with all the cars driving by. So this is my outfit. My dress is from Vici Collection. I will link it below. It was actually featured in my last video, my haul. My boots, my Doc Martens, kind of going, oh my goodness, all these cars. 
Kind of going for like a 90s grunge kind of vibe, like the dress with the docks. It's kind of the style. My bag is from Forever 21 and my jewelry is from Miranda Fry. What am I forgetting? My glasses are from Key Australia, my favorite. I wear them so much. I'll link everything below for you guys, but I just wanted to show you now the train. I just wanted to show you guys the outfit before we started shooting. Um, and yeah, let's just get into the shooting now. So here's a finished product of the pictures that we took. I actually ended up going with more iPhone pictures rather than camera files. I think it worked much better with the shadows and the lighting that we were working with. I think the phone just picked it up a lot easier than my camera, um, which I actually think is a really great example for this video because it shows you guys that you do not need an expensive camera to shoot cool Instagram pictures. You don't have to go out and spend a ton of money. You can just go out with your phone, snap some photos in front of a beat up building and make it fashion. <laughs> so that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those cars driving by, so I'm sorry. We're filming this on my phone. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you want to see anything else similar to this kind of style, like content planning, behind the scenes, all that good stuff, just comment it below and I'll do it for you guys. And make sure you subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I would love to have you guys here. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.